this is way to odin the leader of space station alpha um, i have a new song coming out i've been working hard on it uh, but this video is a tutorial for um, some of the problems i've had uh, in this uh, program which is called fl studio so if you want if you're here um, as a fan uh, i'll have another little video at the end to tell you about what's coming up Okay, I'm here to talk about how to use new time. Um, it says time warp under the menu when you want to fix the uh, the attacks, clean up the attacks within a given uh, recorded sample or take uh, to make sure it lines up rhythmically correctly. Oftentimes when I do this, uh, what I get is um, something that sounds very strange tempo-wise when I go in and, and play uh, in the in the new time window. So for instance, if I go in here to time warp to try and fix the attacks, this very likely will have the wrong tempo. You come in the wind, but the hourglass is mine. That sounds fast to me. Um, and I think it is. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, I wish I kind of find out uh, on my own on accident, is I'm going to go in and Go to edit sample and then i'm going to hit f2 which gives me the sample properties and tempo is blank here in which i will enter and that's a mistake and we'll enter the project uh the project tempo uh, which is 136 which it should it should know that already so i don't know why it changes the tempo of the original recording to begin with but anyway you have to go in to edison and change it back so now that you've done that, what you do is you send this to the playlist. Okay, so that's what this button does. And once I've sent it over there, it always pastes it at the beginning. So you've got to go over here to the edge and grab this, bring it over to where you're working. And now I should have something that is the correct tempo. However, it does, it should, you should take note that it does erase all the stuff you did to the, um, in the sample window to your sample or tape. So uh, this one looks louder. It is because it's been, even though this track is the normal size, because it's been normalized. So I hit the normalize button and I put it on the channel that I wanted it on, on the mixer, et cetera. Any of this stuff um, in this, in this uh, particular window, you want to put back the way it was if you want it the same. But the main point is now I have something that is at the correct tempo to work on in time warp. You come in the wind, but the hourglass is mine. So that is at the right, that is at the right tempo now. Now you can do a bunch of stuff up here to get it to line up, or you can do it manually to get it to line up on the right eighth notes, sixteenth notes, quarter notes, etc., by moving these little things around. Um, if you don't have something with clear attacks, it's not as easy, but I'm not going to get into how to use new time in this video. I just wanted to <laughs> do this for you so you knew how to at least get started if, if for some reason changed the tempo of your sample, and you can do anything with this. So so once again, just to re, re, uh, redo uh, the whole thing to make sure I'm clear about it, you go into edit sample first if you've heard that the tempo is wrong. When you go to use time warp first, you use, try to use new time and the tempo is too fast or too slow. Um, then you first go back to the original recording and hit edit sample. You go F2 to bring up sample properties. You type in the correct BPM here, hit accept, go to the lower right-hand corner of these squares here to send it to the playlist and then you can go get it and work on it however you like and move it back to where it was supposed to be. So I really think that considering the money we give Image Line FL Studios, that they should have someone uh, working in customer service that we can talk to, that can tell us this. Um, otherwise, we just we just have to be here for each other, I guess. So um, my uh, my thanks to the people who've made videos that have helped me in the past. I hope, I hope I'm... Uh, um, paying it forward a little bit by helping anyone who clicks on a sample to work on new time or anything else and, and needs to fix the tempo, which was bizarrely changed for some reason. All right, I hope this helps you.
Hello, Space Station Alpha Cadets. If you've uh, fast forwarded to the end to uh, get a little sneak peek at the next video, I've been working hard on a song called Fierce Little Salmon from the album Fauna from 2019. Um, if you've watched all the videos, you've seen a couple from that album. Um, this is going to be my favorite refurbishment so far. You can see all the stuff I've added. I've got synthesizer, backing vocals, and more synthesizer. And I even have this uh, guitar section that was really fun to play. Lots of added guitars. And I've got a kind of a background ooh, doo background vocals. Kind of left the ending alone, except for this little synthesizer part. So I'm going to play a little bit of it for you. Where you lie, or leave your right foot behind you and descend to the sky. Dribble your arm into the delta. More where that came from. Also, have other sections and different stuff happening. So, um, that'll be coming out uh, later tonight. I uh, hope you enjoy it.